I'm Erin Ramsey, the freshman, sophomore, and career center school counselor. Welcome to high school. In the school counseling office, we work in three areas of student growth. Academic, worrying about grades, scheduling, and tutoring. College and career planning. This involves testing, coursework, and career options, as well as military interest and workforce force entry. And social and emotional. We try our very best to make sure students feel comfortable and safe in our building. The Program of Studies is a helpful academic planning guide for your four years with us. This document is available on our High School Guidance Department webpage. Fairfield Union High School requires all graduates to earn 23 credits. These are satisfied by the following. Four credits of English, four credits of math, three credits of science, three credits of social studies, one half credit of PE and one half credit of health, one fine art credit, one business technology credit, and a minimum of six credits of electives. Honors diplomas are a special distinction awarded to students who meet special criteria. There are multiple honors diplomas, but the most commonly met requirements are for the academic honors diploma, which includes four math units, four science units, four social studies units, three units of one or two units of two world language, one unit of fine art, a GPA of 3.5 or better, and an ACT score of 27 or an SAT score of 1280. You can still earn an honors diploma if you need to exempt an area. For example, if you would score a 26 on the ACT and still meet the other criteria, you are still able to qualify. The state of Ohio has put graduation requirements in place for the graduating classes of 2023 and beyond. Firstly, the student must earn a minimum of 23 credits in the specified subjects that we have mentioned before. Secondly, a student must earn a passing score in Ohio's High School Algebra 1 and English 2 test. Students who do not pass these tests will be offered other options. Option 1, demonstrate career-focused activities. Option 2, enlist in the military. And option 3, complete college coursework. Thirdly, students must earn two of the following diploma seals. The options from step two and the seals for step three will be more closely evaluated at the end of the sophomore year and beginning of junior year when more is known about student performance on the end of course exams. These exams can help earn, earn seals without needing to work extra outside of the classroom. Four year plans can be found in the program of studies. They are designed to meet the needs for students of various life plans. These plans are only suggestions of how a student wants to progress through high school. Throughout your time at Fairfield Union, you will have opportunity to meet with your school counselors and discuss what your individual plan will look like. This is a sample freshman schedule. This student completed Algebra 1 in the 8th grade and has elected to take courses in our Ag Department and Family Consumer Sciences Department. There is an all-year study hall that allows the student time to get school work done. The advisory period between 6th and 7th period is treated like a homeroom and is when we do our social emotional learning. This information is what we saw in an earlier slide of high school requirements. Again, those are 4 language arts, 4 math, 3 social studies, 3 science, 1 business tech, one art, one half health, and one half PE. Students at the freshman level can take Language Arts 9, Honors Language Arts 9, or any of the courses offered by Ohio University Lancaster in our building. In order to take these courses, the students must be accepted to Ohio University Lancaster through the CCP program. More on that later. Writing and Rhetoric course number 113 is the prerequisite to all other courses offered by OUL on our campus. If you are a student who completed Algebra 1 in the 8th grade, you will automatically be scheduled into Honors Geometry. Most 9th grade students take Algebra 1 or Honors Algebra 1 depending on their performance in 8th grade math. Freshman students are only able to take physical science or honors physical science. 
Again, this depends on your performance in 8th grade science. We strongly encourage that you speak with your 8th grade teachers prior to signing up for an honors class. They have been with you all year and know you best as a student and your ability in their content area. All freshmen take Modern World History. There is not an honors option level for this course. Advanced placement courses open up for students beginning in the sophomore year. Business and or technology are required for graduation at Fairfield Union. There are many options to choose from at the freshman level. Approval for the Cisco courses and IT internship must be made by Mr. Andy Doss. Our business department off also offers an entrepreneurship pathway that can lead to college credit. This pathway must be followed in a specific order and applications must be completed for the appropriate colleges to earn the credit. If you have questions regarding this pathway, please contact me. My email is included at the end of this presentation. Regardless of being an athlete, everyone must have one half credit of high school health. Everyone must either earn or waive the .5 credit of PE. In order to waive the half credit, you must participate in two seasons of sport, cheerleading, or marching band. Students may indicate on their course request forms that they want to waive this credit. As freshmen, the only course we can choose in the visual art is Intro to Art. After the freshman year, the other available courses are open to you. The music department has courses that are also fine arts credits. All music department courses are available to freshmen. Music theory is a high level course that requires an instructor approval. Fundamentals of Music is a course that traces the history of music and includes some project based learning. Electives are courses that you can choose that are not required for graduation but do help you to achieve the 23 credits that are required to graduate. FCS Focus is the only course available to freshmen in the Family Consumer Science Department. This course is a great introduction to what this department has to offer. Again, you can see that many more opportunities are available sophomore year. You may have already taken Spanish 1 in the 8th grade. If so, you are welcome to take Spanish 2 freshman year. We never recommend putting a year between language levels. If you are working towards an honors diploma, you will need to take three years of one language or two years of each language we offer. Within our Ag department, students are only able to take Introduction to Ag Science. Just as with the Family Consumer Science courses, this introduction course is a great way to begin to understand the offerings of this department. There will be more options open in the sophomore year. Education outside of Fairfield Union High School. Mrs. Poston has posted an informational video regarding CCP on our YouTube channel. There is also a link on the High School Guidance webpage. If you are interested at all in this program, you should check it out. College Credit Plus courses are taught by teachers who hold credentials as adjunct instructors at an Ohio college or work directly with college faculty members. Students must meet qualifying grade averages and ACT scores to take CCP courses. OUL offers the ACCUPLACER, which is the equivalent to the ACT. Trade jobs are more important and more available than ever. Right now, there are over 7,000 cybersecurity jobs available in Central Ohio alone. There are so many opportunities at Eastland Fairfield. These campuses also offer CCP courses within their labs and in the classroom. I strongly encourage you to take a look at their website shown on the flyer in this slide. Well, I have given you lots of information, some resources, and some guidance on how to plan your high school career. There is no way that I answered all of your questions, so here is my contact information to discuss information with me further. Email is certainly the most efficient way to reach me, so please do. I look forward to seeing all of you as freshmen in the high school building and building your future together.